good people of YouTube, Mountbatten here, and today I'm bringing you guys my first impressions review of the brand new Tier 7 Premium French Battleship, the Strasbourg, or Strasbourg, or Strasbourg, depending upon uh, what interpretation you go with. So this is for all intensive purposes, a Tier 7 Dunkirk with very minimal changes to it. If I remember correctly from the dev blog post and um, yeah that's <laughs> it's gonna be interesting to ship depending upon how much has changed between the Dunkirk and the Strasbourg now um, the Dunkirk those of you that have been watching my channel for some time should know that I actually do like the Dunkirk quite a lot but see the Dunkirk is a tier 6 ship the Strasbourg is tier 7 and yeah um ha 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 you guys will see here in a moment but anyway no modules have been applied no captain skills have been put onto our commander right here in fact he has no skills so there we go but anyway let's go ahead and take a look at her and by the way you can get the ship for free too all you have to do is complete the campaign and this is a topic that was brought up in um, the comments yesterday quite a lot because if you look over here at the last couple of tasks I do believe some of the last ones that you need to get require you to is it the final task up here um, one of these tasks one of these set of tasks require you to have the the hizen or something like that um, or some of these tasks do for or whatever but the thing is, you can redo these tasks and get these stars again. You just won't get the first time reward. That's how I've gone through many a uh, campaign. So this ship can be acquired for free, for quite easy too. And that may also seal the fate of the ship right there because usually these free ships that are given away in these campaigns normally aren't that great. Prince Otto Friedrich, that was a huge issue with it. Uh, I liked it. The majority of the community did not like it, and it was given away the same way. And I believe uh, some other ship was given away, like given away like that too. And it's not that great either. But anyway, let's go ahead and dive into the Strasbourg. So armor layout: yikes, 26 millimeters of bow armor. I swear, somewhere or in some post or at one point in time, in the development cycle of the Strasbourg. They did increase the plating to 27. Somewhere along the lines, I swear that happened, but I guess that got undone. And that's a bit of an issue. Not that 27 would stop much at tier 9, but it would at least stop 15 inch. And yeah, um, 26 millimeter bow armor. That's a bit of a doozy right there. Um, 26 mil. I'm sorry, 26 millimeter bow armor. 26 millimeter around the whole ship too so even German secondaries the ones that people like to say oh I can only pin 26 millimeters of armor it, it can literally pin all of Strasbourg except for of course like the turrets and the conning tower so yeah that's whew, that's not great so let's look at our citadel if it's like the Dunkirks it should be yep right there and let me go back to the Dunkirk real quick just to show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison. I am comparing it to the Dunkirk because it is pretty much a Dunkirk. And as you're going to see here, it is literally a Dunkirk with uh, a couple of things tweaked. Even if those tweaks uh, still went through. So yeah, literally the same as the Dunkirk. Not that that matters. Everything's going to go right through it as normal. Oh, and her uh, Citadel belt is... 283. So yeah, with an upper belt of of course 26. So our build hit points 52,600, same as Dunkirk. 25% torpedo damage reduction, same as Dunkirk. Artillery! So she gets 8 330mm guns that reload in base 25 seconds. Now on my Dunkirk, I do believe it's at 26 and I don't think this one can equip the module. No, it cannot. So it's got a one second faster reload than Dunkirk. Yeah! <laughs> Maximum dispersion of 253 meters. Oh, and a 180 time for a turret to 36 seconds. 
35% chance of shells starting a fire and 55 millimeters of penetration on those HE shells a maximum range of 19.1 kilometers while Dunkirk has 18.2 so one second faster reload and one more kilometer of range yeah <laughs> uh, secondary armaments you get four of these 130 millimeter guns and then 12 of these 130mm guns and these uh, quad turrets, so not a whole lot there. Uh, a defense of 51, which is bad. Dunkirk was not known for its AA, of course, and that is translated here to the Strasbourg as well. Uh, max maximum speed of 29.5 knots, and uh, it's 31 knots on the Dunkirk, but I do have the speed flag slapped on there, so this should be just about the same. Turning circle rudder shift time are exactly the same. A uh, concealment, uh, 16.4 kilometers, same as, as the Dunkirk. It, like, I literally could have read just from the Dunkirk's, um, for, for, from the Dunkirk stats, and you would literally not know unless we got to the artillery portion. So the Dunkirk's is, let's see, the Strasbourg's is 250, 250 meters of maximum dispersion at 19.1 kilometers. The Dunkirk, with the accuracy mod, is 227 at 18.2 so yeah huh now what the Strasbourg does get is main battery reload booster so that's pretty nice because the Dunkirk's and the Strasbourg's guns they're small but they are flying at 870 meters a second so small very fast moving shell so it's got that French BB pin which is pretty good and the smaller gun caliber means that you can pin cruisers pretty darn well with these guns and get citadels on them. Dunkirk's very, very, very good at deleting broadside cruisers. And not so much light cruisers because, of course, the, sh the shell isn't that small and it's still flying around at 870 meters, so it still passes through. But against, like, medium and heavy cruisers, whoo, it'll hurt. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and module her out and put a captain on here, and we will reconvene here. Alright, so I literally just threw my Jean Bar commander on here because it's the same style pretty much. So we went with preventive maintenance, adrenaline rush, jack of all trades because you don't need MLG turrets because your turrets are in the front, basis of survivability, superintendent, fire prevention, and of course concealment expert. For the modules, same build as the Dunkirk, main armaments mod 1. Damage Con 1, Amy Systems Mod 1, Damage Con Mod 2, and I'm going with the Fighter Consumable because of the ship's lack of AA. This is pretty much the only chance of making CVs pay for striking you, and you will probably see a lot of Tier 8 CVs since you're a Tier 7, and you're going to be in a lot of Tier 9 games because that's how matchmaking works. So let's see how did this affect her guns. So now 235 maximum dispersion at 800, I'm sorry, at 19.1 kilometers. And with the concealment expert skill on, she's now down to 14.8 kilometers detection range. And her speed is now 31 knots, which is, again, again the same as Dunkirk. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to hop into battle. Meet you guys there in some voiceover because I I got a pretty good feeling that this is going to freaking hurt to play, but here we go. All right, guys. So before I get into how the ship plays and feels, uh, one thing that I forgot to mention in port is that the Strasbourg does have slightly thicker belt armor. She has 283 millimeters of belt armor, whereas the Dunkirk only has 223 millimeters of I'm sorry 225 millimeters of belt armor not a huge difference there but it's a little bit more solid so it's got that going for it other than that from playing it it plays like a Dunkirk I, I don't know what I was expecting because it's just a Dunkirk and as you see in the match you're watching right now it pretty much yields the same results as as Dunkirk, but maybe a little bit better because of that main battery reload booster. And by that, I mean when this is top tier, it does just fine. 
if you know how to play Dunkirk, if you've played Dunkirk, you know how to play this thing. It's just that now you've got a one second faster reload, and you've got main battery reload booster, and you have one more kilometer of range. Other than that, it's a Dunkirk. And Dunkirk and Strasbourg play like, well, you point the pony in toward the enemy, you stay near the island, you st uh, set up on an island, usually, for most of the game, then at the end, you've got to play it a little aggressively. It's kind of that, I paid for the whole ship, so I'm going to use the whole ship mentality, meaning that you're probably going to finish with, like, your health bar probably in the red and out of heels, out of planes, out of main battery reload booster in order to really get the full usefulness out of the Strasbourg. Now there is something that I do have to tell you guys and that is of course I've played a lot of Dunkirk. Is it my most played ship? No, but it is one of my more played premium ships. So the match watching right now is just the result of me knowing how to use the ship and how to utilize it and when to, you know, when to turn in, when to, when to uh, fire, when to pop that main battery reload booster. Also, Wargaming, fix the friggin' firing bug. For God's sakes, this is like, what, the third patch now? That this is still happening? And if you don't know what this firing bug is, you pop main battery reload booster and you click and it doesn't work because for whatever reason the game doesn't process that you've actually clicked the main battery reload booster so you have to wait until the uh, the guns are done reloading in the normal time then you may fire but you've also wasted your main battery reload booster because it, it didn't work. Fix that, please, for the love of God! It, it's it's been bugged on the Jean Bar. It's been bugged on the um, the Strasbourg now, and I I it, I think it happened on yeah it happened to me on the Clabert too. I haven't tried the French cruisers, but I'm guessing it's happening there too because it just seems to be a bug affecting the main battery reload booster consumable. Fix it. That's the that's the point of buying this ship. That's literally the only reason why you would get this ship is for the main battery reload booster, and it doesn't even work half the time. And the, the match you're seeing right now, if you see me pop main battery reload booster, not fire. Trust me, I'm smashing my mouse as hard as possible right now, but it's just not working. So we're getting fix that, please, for the love of God. Anyway, back to the Strasbourg. Yeah, so like I was saying, I played a lot of Dunkirk. I actually have my most kills on the Dunkirk. It's tied with the Dunkirk, the GK, the Kremlin, and the Ohio at seven kills. Got it first on the Dunkirk. So yeah, I'm very familiar, familiar with the Dunkirk. So if you're familiar with the Dunkirk, if you like the Dunkirk, you like the Strasbourg. The only issue is that it's at tier seven. So you're perpetually up tier to tier 7 in a Dunkirk hall with nothing added to the hull to save you except for that little bit more of belt armor. That's it. That extra 60 millimeters of belt armor. That's it. But you play the ship mostly nose in and they did increase the armor of the nose. So yeah. Everything goes through. Goes through. There's a couple of ships you can meet. You know, you can be top tier at tier seven and meet a couple of tier six battleships that, of course, can't overmatch your bow armor. A couple of them, but the vast majority of the ships you're going to see at tier seven are going to overmatch your bow armor. And then, of course, you have the possibility of getting up tier to tier nine, which that's the big suck when that happens. That that's just pain and suffering. And if you get up to the tier 9, throw HE in the tubes, sit back at 19 kilometers and just burn the world. Switch to AP if a cruiser gives you broadside and blap them. And of course, the AP is fantastic against broadside ships. Everybody likes to make fun of the Dunkirk and the Strasbourg now because they got teeny tiny guns, but they don't laugh when you chunk the broadside for 20k. Yeah! <laughs> if you know where to, where to aim and how the... Dunkirk's guns are, and well now the Strasbourg's guns are, you know the peculi peculiarities with their dispersion and stuff, you know what to expect, and you can every now and then get some pretty good salvos out of these guns, and when you do, and when these ships are broadside and hit their citadel, it hurts. And of course now you have main battery reload boosters so you can make those follow-up shots that can hurt even more before they have time to react. And that's a huge plus. It's, it feels great when you do that in this ship that 
so many people love to, to hate on and stuff. But yes, getting up to, to tier 9, it's not fun, I'm not going to lie. Getting up to, to tier 8 is not fun either, and that's only one tier above you. That can happen quite often with the Strasbourg. I, I played four battles in it before recording this commentary. Uh, two were tier 7 battles, two were tier 8 battles. And yeah, being up to, to tier 8 friggin' sucked. I did get any tier 9 battles, but I don't need to get up to, up to, to tier 9 to know that tier 9 in Strasbourg is going to be bad. It, it, it's going to be bad. So, there is that. Um, other than that, the ship's very nice and maneuverable, just like the Dunkirk. That's the, one of the advantages of having barely any armor, is that the ship does respond fast to um, your commands. It turns pretty quickly, accelerates and decelerates pretty quickly for a battleship. Now, is it worth the $40 you have to pay to buy the ship out of the shop? I don't think so. Because you're basically paying 40 bucks to be up tier to, tier to tier 8 or tier 9. Now again, when you're tier 7, I think it's it's pretty okay. Except that, of course, you are going to be meeting more and more battleships that can overmatch your bow armor. It, rather than just playing the Dunkirk and getting a tier 6 game. But of course, you can get up tier to tier 7 in the Dunkirk either way. But you can't get up tier to tier 9 in the Dunkirk. But is what the Strasbourg brings to the table worth the $40? In my opinion, no. If they would have given it more accurate guns and speed boost, I think it might be worth it if they were to do that. Because imagine a ship as quick and nimble as the Dunkirk or Strasbourg with speed boost. That'd be actually pretty darn good. I think if it got the full Jean Bar treatment, you know, give it more accurate guns, give it speed boost, give it main battery reload booster like they already had, and maybe give it more AA. You know, this is supposed to be the later refit of the Dunkirk class. So if they had given it all that and not even messed with the armor, I think it actually would be worth it. However, that's not what happened. We got one second faster on the reload time. We got one more kilometer on the range, and we got about 60 millimeters of armor on the main belt, and that's it. Um, so I, I don't think it's worth paying outright. Is it worth playing the campaign to get it? I think so. It's not a hard campaign, and like I mentioned at the start of the video, you can certainly repeat missions to get it fairly easy, so it's you know, not that hard to get, and if you're looking for a tier 7 or just a... A premium ship I think this will suffice is it going to be you know the best French battleship trainer eh, 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 no not really because a lot of the skills you use on the Strasbourg won't be used on the Alsace or the Republic it probably will come in handy for the Richelieu if you don't have Jean Barr you know you want to train that commander up for that but sure you could respect him when you get to the Alsace or the Republic but also we are on the evening of the commander rework which is supposed to be coming out in 10.0 so yeah that's you know commanders right now are kind of just like ah enjoy them while you can because boy is it going to change when that rework drops so yeah if you're looking at doing the campaign just turning on the campaign missions while you are p playing and grinding the snowflake event i yeah i think it's not a not a bad thing to get it's free so yeah there's that but no it's not worth 40 bucks not in my opinion whatsoever. If you want to pay for the ship, honestly, just go buy Dunkirk. It's in a much better position tier-wise than the Strasbourg is, in my opinion, at least. So, that's what I think about the Strasbourg. Now, the match you've been watching in the background was actually my first match in it. And like I said, I've played a lot of Dunkirk, so I know the peculiarities of the ship and everything. And... Again, playing it very aggressively here at the end. Like I said, I paid for the whole ship. I'm going to use the whole ship. Um, so, yeah, this was definitely a very, very, very good match for the Strasbourg. Matches after this, I got somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 80k in the other uh, Tier 8 matches, just from HE Spam and get a couple of broadside shots with some cruisers. But, when, again, when I was top tier, Tier 7... I would do, normally do around 100k, so, you know, about right for performance in the Dunkirk when it was in Tier 6 matches, and when it was in Tier uh, tier 7 and Tier 8 matches as well, so, yeah, it's a Dunkirk, again, if you play the Dunkirk, you know what to expect, just slap 
main battery re reload booster on here and it's pretty much it. Anyway guys, that's my first impressions review of the Tier 7 Premium French Battleship Strasbourg. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. We are on our way now to 25,000 subscribers. We just passed 21,000 subs uh, last week, actually. And I can't thank you guys enough for that. Special thanks goes out to my patrons for making this review possible. If you wish to join the Patreon, the link is in the description down below. All these funds certainly help make these reviews a little bit easier to bear on my wallet because, again, I'm not a CC. I don't get any support or anything from, anything from Wargaming. I buy all these ships to review on the channel with the ad revenue from the channel and from Patreon and the donations that you guys give on stream. So thank you guys for allowing me to do this. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.